what's going on, GT Bear, and anybody else on the internet that wants to watch. Um, I had all these things laying around. I figured, you know, we were talking about it. Why not just show what the heck I'm talking about? This is a freezeless faucet, and this is uh, the way it looks. I mean, obviously. Um, but the whole concept behind this thing is uh, this sinks into your wall. You got your wall right here, and this would be on the outside of the wall here. And the point is this shaft that actually opens up the, and allows the water to come out is way back here, and it's all the way in the back. You can see right here, a little, um, little work, maybe. There's a screw in there, and that's holding the gasket on. And so it'll like come this way and then seat up against the uh, wall right here, and that shuts off the water. So that keeps the water way back here and inside the wall. So you, this is like a, what, six or eight inch model. And uh, so whatever that is, like that's where your water is way back here instead of out here where it's freezing temperatures. Um, also, the uh, leave your hose off of it uh, part was if you have your hose on there and, and you had it on and you have a nozzle or whatever and there's water in here, this whole thing can freeze. And um, Or if you just leave a hose on there and somehow it traps water in there, this whole thing uh, can freeze. And it usually bursts right in here where there's no water because, um, you know, the water would be way back here. And you never know about um, this leak because you turn it on and a little bit of water comes out over here but most of the water's coming out right here and spraying in your wall and doing all that stuff and you don't find it until it finds its lowest point where uh, uh, well that's where you find it because uh, water always follows gravity so um, but yeah that's a freezeless faucet and that's what I was talking about uh, you gotta figure out how long which is pretty much like from my finger to like right here um, because that's how far into the wall that it'll be and then what uh, thread size like this one's half inch which is normal regular old uh, threads but sometimes they're uh, three quarters but most of the time they're only half inch but uh, I even used mine I had uh, this little adapter here to go to a hose bib and I was using that to um, power um, this freezeless faucet, which I was just using as a faucet, not freezeless, um, with my well pump. So I had that laying around. And this is what I was talking about with the GFCI. Um, this is the corded kind. As you can see, I've got it plugged in and uh, hit the switch and it's on. Test it. You can hear it turns off. That only does that whenever there's uh, electricity uh, applied which these ones are supposed to do the same but sometimes they fail and uh, the little test thingy just doesn't work like you can see right there I'm resetting it or testing or not resetting it and uh, it doesn't want to go ahead and reset uh, same as mine because there's no power in there there's it won't uh, reset so um, but yeah I love this sucker this has saved me a bunch of times um, but yeah so GFCI ground fault circuit interrupter um, and you can just plug this sucker in and like I was saying you got three out outputs so you can plug in three more things or come off of that and do another three plug outlet and do you know five things or whatever but um, yeah so just figured I'd show that off real quick um, make this real quick and easy and everything but one last thing uh, I wanted to ask JT um, have since you've got your uh, awesome little workshop facility there um, <laughs> your laboratory if you will um, I was wondering if you've heard about this I've already done it once um, I was thinking about trying again um, and especially because you might be replacing uh, you know some things within the house uh, over the next whatever amount of time I was wondering if you've ever uh, tried to take a ceiling fan and uh, this was a ceiling fan. You put the uh, fan blades up here, so it was hanging from the ceiling this way. Um, but if you've taken one of these, you pull this ring out of here, throw that away, um, and inside here, you take the rare earth magnets that are really freaking strong, and you pop them in here, and you like keep going the whole way around here, and then, uh, well, this part stays stationary, but whenever the magnets are spinning around, they're actually uh, causing electricity. You know what I'm talking about. But... Um, yeah, have you tried that? Because if you want to replace any of your ceiling fans, it would be nice to hold on to a couple of them, and maybe you could get that done. Um, like I said, I've already done it, but uh, my, uh, well, 
all the salt air here just really rust the heck out of things and those magnets were gone in no time but anyway just wanted to throw this up here and uh, just give you a little visual on what was going on if anybody else learned anything hey don't forget to like favorite subscribe all that fun happy media stuff down below and i'll catch you in the next video to then later